Hi friends, welcome back to Mule 4 series of learning videos. I am Shivat Nankamani, an Integration Technical Architect. In the last video, we have seen about uh, JMS Topic Subscription and we have also seen how to subscribe uh, uh, multiple times on the same uh, message that is published once. So we have, see, we have also seen the needs for replicating the same data in a, uh, in a multiple system. And in this video, we are going to see uh, how to prioritize the messages uh, uh, that are published in topic and then consuming based on the priorities and filtering based on the priority. So it's not just a technical way of uh, representing the priority. And I'm also going to tell you the, the best use case and uh, the greatness of uh, this JMS priority and uh, how handy this will be helpful in the complex scenario. Let's get started. Now let's consider an use case uh, that is common for both uh, topic and queue where uh, you are going to publish the message of uh, action where uh, uh, say the uh, payment is happening uh, for a particular person and uh, the first uh, the payment is uh, created uh, with the amount 500 but suddenly the uh, person realizes it's uh, some other amount uh, and then he is updating with uh, 7000. And then he realizes instead of 700, uh, he has put 7,000. And then again, he entered wrongly with 70,000. So finally, he realizes and then enters the correct value, say 700. So uh, technically, um, the final value that's getting transferred should be 700 and not uh, 500, 7,000 or 70,000. So 700 is the right amount. So first 500 gets inserted. And uh, next updates happening uh, three times. So now we need to ensure that uh, uh, when there are three messages happening in a in a load balanced uh, multi server instances uh, scenario, uh, uh, when the messages are getting published quickly, it gets consumed and then uh, the order gets varied because of the um, multiple instances uh, that are load balanced. And uh, unfortunately, there could be some scenario where uh, the 70,000 uh, races faster than this uh, 700 or it gets delayed after 700. So as a result, 70,000 gets uh, finally updated overwriting the correct value 700. So we are going to see how to avoid this by using this uh, uh, JMS priority. So this is a, a JMS priority filtering scenario. So we will be having a publisher and we will be having a topic. And then we are going to have a three consumers created and then processing the messages in separate, uh, with a separate functionality. So now we are going to introduce a um, priority that says uh, priority eight is a top priority. So the higher the value, the more the priority is. So here, if you don't mention any priority by default, it takes it as four. And then we will also have the consumer without specifying uh, any priority. So it consumes all the messages. So this consumes only priority with eight and this consumes with uh, priority four. So um, we have to ensure that uh, when there are multiple updates happening, uh, the insert uh, gets high priority and then update gets lower priority, which means uh, insert should always happen fast, which is which should happen first. But uh, um, the update should always happen uh, hap uh, with a delay, so that uh, uh, finally uh, published update is happening at last, so that uh, the correct value is getting updated. So whichever the update that happens at last should get reflected into the database. So now we will see how to implement this technically and then how to uh, uh, create this use case in a real time scenario. So this is a mule 4 flow which we have seen in the last video and we have made uh, some minor tweak uh, uh, to accommodate this JMS priority and let's see how to do that. So as usual we have a, a HTTP listener that receives the message and then it processes the messages accordingly and then publishes by setting the correct priority. So the priority setting can be happening by taking the value from the payload, analyzing it, making some decisions and arriving at the priority and then publish it. So uh, for here uh, we are taking a simple scenario where uh, uh, 
uh, we are considering age if age is the person's age is more than 55 we are giving top priority 8 else we are giving low priority 4 so there is an if else statement that we can use as a ternary operator in mule 4 that's what i have used in the same uh, expression like if payload age greater than 55 the first value is then class the second value is else class so that's what i have given here so priority is set as either 8 or 4 based on the payload value and we are going to set the name uh, as a payload that goes to the topic and uh, here uh, we have set the priority so there is a column that you can see here uh, uh, there are other columns uh, that that defines how to um, uh, time to live and etc so which we don't use often but the priority is more important so we are setting the priority with the variable priority which we have used here so this is the only change so uh, so this altogether publishes uh, the given payload into the topic with a given priority okay so now let's see uh, how to uh, consume it so we have two consumers uh, which means two listeners one is uh, uh, for the senior citizens and another for the normal employees so in the senior citizen we have a, um, a listener introduced we have seen in the last video it's the same the same JMS configuration and we have given the uh, topic name flash news uh, from where uh, I mean both uh, um, uh, publishing destination as well as the listening destination both should be identical and the same and uh, so one other difference that we have made is here we are uh, there is a, a field called selector so this selector is used to uh, implement uh, the selection criteria based on the priority so we have given jms priority equal to 8 so this field should be used as is without any change in the cases or this is exactly jms in uppercase P in uppercase and the rest of the characters in lowercase. So JMS priority equal to 8 is what we have given as a filter and uh, in the next listener we have given uh, JMS priority equal to 4. So uh, as we have seen in the use case uh, when, when there is an insert that's happening or uh, top priority messages comes this gets executed so immediately because uh, I'm going to tell you uh, how to do the design so design is all about the uh, beauty of the designer who designs it's not about the tool or sophisticated tools that we are using it's only in the hands of the person who designs it beautifully to achieve the given use case scenario so what we have given here is though we are we can simply set uh, uh, priority here we say uh, jms priority equal to eight and in the next subscription we are saying um, jms priority equal to 4 so this will, will this will only work by selecting the message based on the priority and then message is routed either to the top priority mule flow or low priority mule flow but if you look at the use case a little deeper the update should get delayed as far as possible but insert should happen fast so even if you uh, carry out the update statement or update value first and insert value next our flow is intelligent and smart enough to do the insert first and then update now last so how is it achieved so there is a, a there is a configuration here in the listener you can see uh, at last you can say it's a delivery delay so the delivery delay is going to be set as uh, say five seconds because whenever there is an update or low priority message comes we are exclusively or deliberately we are making the delivery delay to 5 seconds or 10 seconds so that uh, accidentally if the message gets in a flip of a second uh, uh, the update goes first uh, before insert in order to avoid that we are deliberately delaying to either 5 seconds 10 seconds or even 20 seconds to uh, ensure 100 percent that the update is happening last so uh, that's what we have done here but uh, um, in this mule 4 flow um, uh, i'm not i'm not able to get this uh, delivery delay working and there should be some flaw here 
so what i have done is i have done uh, um anyhow i have started this demo in order to complete it i have given uh, script groovy script uh, kind of delay where i have introduced uh, groovy scripts but uh, uh, please do not use this groovy script because uh, uh, by using uh, thread sleep um, you should be extremely careful very 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 careful uh, to use this or you can completely refrain from using and not use it at all so you have to simply aim using this uh, jms listener criteria and additional field delivery delay you can give uh, 10 and then choose the unit as seconds so it will delay 10 seconds so i have explained why the delay is required and it's critical is to delay the update as far as possible so that uh, always insert happens first and update happens next let's uh, demo this so i have already uh, started this application and uh, uh, instead of uh, running this uh, HTTP listener flow, let us see the demo of how uh, consumption is happening. Let me clear the logs and then let me go to um, ActiveMQ console and I click on Flash News and uh, uh, let me give uh, let me give some payload and uh, choose this. And here you can see here it's a JMS priority. I'm choosing it as priority eight. Um, so this is simple. We are choosing the destination, the topic uh, flash news. We are giving some uh, message and we are giving the priority and we say send. So now let's see what happens. Now it's only, you can see here, uh, this message is consumed only once, but we have uh, two subscribers but why is it consumed only once you can see here this is uh, received with high priority because we have seen uh, we have used a star payload received in uh, a high priority flow you can see here star payload received with uh, high priority so this is alone executed and this low priority has not executed because we have given the priority 8 now again let's go back and we clear the console and then we give uh, Vishyanand and I'm, we are giving priority number 4 and then we send. Now let's go back and see. Now you can see here it is not yet, not yet consumed because we have delayed it. Since it's low priority it will take a few seconds for that to consume and it should get consumed any second yeah it's uh, it's consumed so now we can see here it's a normal priority so if we don't uh, give uh, uh, priority 8 uh, we, by default it takes it as priority number 4 but even then we even otherwise we have exclusively specified uh, here jms priority 4 so this is not only using the technical aspect of using jms priority but it is how we smartly design our mule flow in order to suit to our uh, requirements and the business needs. Now we have uh, uh, suitably and smartly introduced this delay in, in order to delay the uh, update operations. So even if you give uh, uh, update first and insert next, it will automatically get queued up. Let's see how to do that uh, by means of this HTTP flow. So here we have uh, name senior. This is uh, a high priority. We are we are copying it. But now let's say uh, junior, and then we will say uh, age twenty. So since age is not greater than uh, um, fifty five, this will be taken as a low priority, and we are giving it uh, first. Now you can see here in the console it is not yet uh, consumed. But now let's paste whatever we are given as high priority first we have done this first now you can see here high priority is consumed first and then low priority is consumed next so um, if you are not able to follow let me repeat again so what we have done is uh, by using the http listener we have published a low priority message first and after four or five seconds, we have given a high priority. So then we have seen 
this is the uh, senior is the one which we have uh, published at last but if you see here the high priority is senior is what is consumed first and processed first and then the low priority is processed only next so that's because of the delay that we have introduced you can see here uh, the timestamp indicates uh, high priority first low priority next That's it in this video. Hope you liked it. If so, please hit thumbs up and subscribe my video. Soon I will come up with more interesting topics. Again, thanks for watching. Bye.